Today, friends, we're checking out a hybrid capacitor battery. It's something I've been excited for. I haven't got a chance to check it out fully, but today I'm going to change that. We're going to do some testing on it. But before we do that, let's look at the box because looking at the box is one of my favorite things to do. NXT hybrid capacitor, 2000 farads. So you can see right here, 60 watt hours, 60 amp continuous. Operating range 8.8 to 16.8 volts. Then you have a hybrid of capacitor and battery. And uh, that's about it for the outside. So let's open. Yeah, I just want to be the greatest. Let's open it up and see what's in the box. You get the battery or capacitor and you get the screws. That's all you need to make this thing work. And when I say tiny, I do mean tiny. About five inches when you include the tabs. Two inches wide and three and a half inches tall. Very, very compact. This capacitor is mainly meant to be kind of a factory upgrade so you can run a little bit more power on a stock system. We're going to test it in two ways. The first thing I want to do is just see how it handles a load by itself with no power supply or alternator working with it. Then I'll hook up a 100 amp power supply, kind of simulate a alternator. And we'll see how it does with, you know, maybe a little more power, maybe like 1800 watts. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. All right, here's the setup. This will be off the NXT only. I've got a separate power supply supplying the power to the head unit. I'll turn on the AMM1. Once I hook up the negative side over here, we'll get our voltage and we'll see what kind of power this will make at 2 ohms, 40 hertz. And get this side hooked up and we will run this test. All right, we are powered up. We're resting about 15 volts. This is fully charged. We're going to put this in dyno mode. If I can't get this in shot, it's fine. I will just tell you how much amperage I seen. Let me zoom this in. I'll get a better shot of just the AMM1, the voltage meter. Everything is set up. We're on a two ohm load. This should be a thousand watts, give or take. We'll see how far it drops, how long it lasts. If we get down to, you know, 11, 10 and a half volts, I'll stop the test and then we'll see where we're at. So it looks like we got 976 watts at 2 ohm. I did not pay attention to the clamp. We're going to run it back again and see what it does. I was looking at the voltage and not paying attention to the clamp. So we'll see what kind of amperage we drew on this one. The one thing I did notice is it bounced right back up about 15 volts where it was at before. So not bad not bad at all i wanted to get the clamp in the shot better this time so we can get a full picture of what's going on we're going to run it again i expect maybe a few less watts because we're at a little less voltage this did seem to not even drop below 12.6 last time let's see if we can stress it a little bit more maybe get it to drop a little lower and see how it does Nine forty-two. let me reset it we pretty much bounced back we're back at 14.9 this little thing's got some juice in it to hold that voltage above 12 obviously we'll review the tape and see exactly how low it went because it's hard to watch all this with your eye it's easier once you got it on tape so let's run it back one more time just to uh, confirm So far, this little NXT has proved itself pretty stout. It's still powering the amp, no trouble. We're now at 14.8 volts. We started at 15, so after the several runs, we only dropped 0.2 volts, and it's holding strong while still powering the amp with a small one amp draw. So 
I think the next test will be to get a much bigger amp here. We'll go double the power and then we'll hook up a 100 amp power supply to this to kind of feed it some juice and see how it does. I'm going to leave the voltage right at 15.2 volts. That's where I already got the power supply set. So I think that's gonna be a fair test. This is available to run that high. In your system, you're probably gonna be running like 14.4, but I've already got it set up for 15.2 volts. So that's where we'll start. And with a big load, I'm sure we will drop more. So let me get all that hooked up and we will come back and try that. All right, we have officially stepped the game up to the next level. We have the one 100 amp power supply running, the capacitor in line. We're at 15.2 volts, which is where I've been testing at. We also got a big boy on the bench here. This is the XAD15 by NVX rated 1850 watts by one at four ohm. That's what we're gonna try on this, see how well it does with a power supply in line. If it holds up well to that, maybe we'll try two ohms with uh, 3000 watts, but I think that's gonna be a stretch. So I'll get it all set up and then I'll try to give you a shot of the dyno, the voltage, and if I can, the amperage. All right, well, let's let it rip, see what we got. To get an 18, 16, dropping to 12.3 volts. And I believe it was around 123 amps. I'll freeze frame it and see where we were at. It did fairly well. I think what we'll do is run that one more time and see how it does. Now remember, the only thing that we have in line is this little JY battery right here and one 100 amp power supply. So this is a bare minimum test bench. You can buy the JY for around $300. You can get a power supply like that for around $300. So $600 in, you've got pretty decent power for testing. Let's run it one more time and then we'll consider going to uh, two two ohms with 3000 watts. Eighteen thirty-three. we dropped to 12.2 and pulled 133 amps. So yeah, that's not bad at all. And honestly, that's quite impressive if you ask me. So let me set it up for two ohms. We'll, uh, we'll run it two ohms and see what we get. We pretty much almost got rated at 1833. That's, that's pretty solid. I'm very impressed so far. All right, back again. Two ohm test rated 3000 watts. This is going to be the toughest test yet. And just as a reminder, one 100 amp power supply and the JY NXT, that's it. That's the only thing that's powering this. I don't expect that it's gonna hold up too well at this test. I think it, we're pushing it a little bit too far at this point, but we're gonna do it anyways and, and see how it holds up. We got 2300 watts dipping down to 10 volts. I did not even see the current drawn, so I have to review the tape and see what kind of current we drew. This little NXT has been super impressive. Now we did not get our 3000 watts because we dropped all the way down to 10 volts. What do you guys think about adding the second power supply? And we'll assume that you have a 200 amp alternator with one of these. What could you do? Could you actually get the 3000 watts? Let me hook it up and we'll find out. I've got the other power supply wired up. We're running two 100 amp power supplies. That's gonna give us 200 amps plus the NXT. Will it hold up to 3000 watts? I don't know. I'm not too hopeful, but I think we'll do better than we did before. So let me zoom in, get you a shot of the amperage voltage and the power here it is the two ohm run with two power supplies 200 amps of charging and one nxt let's see how we do we dropped 11 volts 2876 watts 
Still pretty solid, but I want to run it back one more time and see if I can back that number up. So we did get a lot closer to the 3000 watts. We didn't drop below 11 volts this time. So we're doing better. Let's run it one more time and see what we get. All right, so the final result, 2,846 watts on a pure sine wave. It's pretty tough. I mean, amp's not even hot, so good looking out NVX. This is a pretty solid amp. Uh, I've been impressed with this as well. But as far as this video with the NXT, super, super impressed with this little NXT. And I'm very, very happy to have this in the Trooper. And uh, I think it's really, really going to do great. So... I think we should do one burst test. I'll turn the volume up and just bump it a few times. You know, it kind of simulate music a little bit and we'll see what it does under those loads if we can get it up over the 3000 watt in a, uh, you know, kind of a burst dynamic situation. All right, we're set up two ohms mono. We're ready to bump it and see what kind of voltage we get. I'm fairly confident we're gonna be able to get over 3000 watts. I'm not sure what the voltage is gonna be, we're just going to have to let it rip and uh, see. Okay. We got 3,600 watts. Pay no attention to that. It does that when you bump it like this in this situation. You get a crazy number. We did get 3,600 and something watts. Let's bump it one more time with the volume up one notch. And we'll see if we get anything crazy. We did get down to 12 volts. I did see that. All right, we jumped down to 11 and a half volts. The extra notch killed us on that one. So let's bump it back one, two. All right, two clicks on the volume. Let's see where we land. 2818 held pretty steady at 12.8 volts. So I'm not mad at that. One final time at volume 38 let's let it rip 3582 jump down to 11.8 volts can't beat it i am back with my thoughts on this little tiny battery the nxt 2kf and the question is should you buy this and i can answer that for you if you're thinking about buying it and you think it would suit your needs? Absolutely 100% yes. I think this is an amazing little piece of technology. A few other questions you might have. Can you run this with AGM? Yes. As you can see here, the voltage rating is from 8 to 16.8 volts. It is safe to run with AGM. Can you use it on a higher charging system? 15 volts plus up to 16 volts plus? Yes. So the answer is pretty much yes, if you want to use this in almost any of those applications. I think this is the perfect upgrade for someone that was thinking about putting a second battery in the trunk uh, before maybe upgrading their alternator. Or someone that has an upgraded alternator that would like just a little bit of reserve power in the back. I think that this is going to work very well for you. Now, if you're running over 5,000 watts, one of these is not going to be enough for you. Now, could you maybe buy like four of these little NXTs? Sure, I think that would work, but that would be around $1,200. And at that price point, I think maybe you can get a little more juice for the money. But for $300 on something that is built for you, you don't have to touch. All you do is hook it up. This is absolutely hard to beat. And a word on the street is they might be making bigger versions of this. And I am very excited to see that. So with all that being said, I hope you do like these battery capacitor test I love doing them. And if you do, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the little bell. And I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters, but the six star or more members get a special shout out. And that is 2001 Monolithic, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego Audio, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, Cornut, Trucker 9000, 
Bobby Burkett, Kevin Lautner, James Childers, Baba, Thomas Marshall, Living Loud with Andy, Neil Nato, Chris Cogburn, Lars Madsen, and Old School Stereo. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the Patreon team and get exclusive Patreon-only content, including a monthly Patreon-only hangout stream. It's a really good time. You guys are missing out. And if you want to join, check me out at patreon.com slash high 5 Vega. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at